Steve Earle's song, Lonelier Than This, also uses these same chords. Uh, the uh, G, Dylan C, hammering on to it, and the uh, D, D seventh with the thumb hooked around. It doesn't get any longer. I pray I die before I wake. Have a breath and taste in your kiss. And sweet on my tongue. To the bitter tears fall one by one. There's the E minor. So one little additional chord in that. But it's basically a, a, the same sort of pattern. And I've done a version of that that you can watch if you feel like it. Uh, that's uh, already out here on YouTube. Another Bob Dylan song that uses these same uh, chords is Girl from the North Country. I usually play a strumming chords like a, a version of his I heard on a live album. But uh, on the original studio version, he finger picks it. And I don't play it like this very often, so I'll probably botch it, but uh, I'll do the best I can. And you, you can, the main point is just to see that it uses the same chords. If you trap to the North Country Fair Where the winds hit heavy on the borderline Say for me that I'm doing well She once was a true love of mine Okay, here's a Towns Van Zant song which is uh, uses the same basic chord group. Uh, you don't really use this for your anchor finger. In fact, this finger kind of moves around fretting other notes because it's a little bit different, kind of plays a little bit of a melody. And uh, uh, there's not, the Dylan C is kind of missing here. You're doing these little notes, little, little treble notes, uh, instead of staying in one chord position. But it has the D7, but anyway, it goes like, but it's, but it's very similar, so it, it, it could, something like this. You see, it just starts with the G, it just stays basically doing G and hitting these. And then, after it goes to that, use that index finger for your anchor again. Plop down to the D. Another Steve Earle song that he wrote with the same toolbox of chords, if you will, uh, was a uh, one he wrote after Towns Van Zant passed away, and uh, it's called Fort Worth Blues. I don't know the words very well, but I'll do do the best I can. Fort Worth, all the neons burning bright, city lights. same chords. Here's a fun song to play. And it's a little bit different, but it uses the same chords. So, you know, it might not necessarily sound anything at all like those others, but it's a, if you know the Josh Ritter song, Snow is Gone. Birds outside my window, dust in their wings upon the lawn. She and Dylan say, hear them in the morning light, get a last name into a migratory song. Just those two chords. Never go around for me, their eyes are on the sky, the ground below. I'd rather be the one who loves and to be loved than never even know. So it's just kind of going back and forth between the. Uh, Uh, high functional G fingering and the Dylan C. And if anyone's interested, I'll just tell you because that's such a great fun song to play. The chorus is A minor, 
then it goes to, to the same fingering, just slide it up two frets, leave all the other strings open. Then you go to C, and then you, and then you do the same thing. You slide it up to, to uh, the same fingering, but up two frets. Looks, I've seen him playing that on videos here on YouTube, and it looks like that's what he's doing. So I'm pretty sure that's the way it goes. So it's, uh, hello blackbird, hello starling. So you got two for one in this video. You get to learn uh, tomorrow is such a long time, and uh, uh, snow is gone from Josh Ritter. So anyway, but it's a great fun song to play. And again, the, the important thing to, to remember in, in terms of this, the purpose of this video, is that it's using the that G fingering and uh, the Dylan C. And for people that are again trying to get used to this this uh, finger, that'd be a great song to work on too, because it's fun to play. And uh, you just go back and forth, and it kind of you know, it helps your uh, hand develop a feel for, for, for fretting that chord. Just in case it might be useful to someone, here's a close-up of uh, how my right hand plays the, uh, the, the uh, notes in, in the, uh, the song in this video. Uh, I think I neglected to say that I play, play the song with the capo on the fourth fret. Starts on G, C, back to G, C, back to G. C, back to G, C, D, okay I said I wasn't going to uh, do the uh, discussion of the thumb over the top versus the thumb on the back but I think I'll go ahead and do it here because I've got the time in this video and I wanted to say a long time ago I read an interview with I think it was Chet Atkins and they asked him if there was anything about his guitar playing that he would change or that he wished he had done differently. And he answered uh, very quickly that he would put the thumb on the back of the, the guitar neck and, and make his chords like classical players did, like they teach you when you play classical guitar. That it's, it's you know, it's more proper to do it that way. And I guess it's, they consider it somehow better. Uh, so there's certainly nothing wrong with, with doing that with that philosophy. But you see, especially rock and roll players, you've seen pictures of Jimi Hendrix and he had very large hands and he, he uh, this is a fairly thin neck by the way, so it might, so it may, might make my hands look a little bigger than they are, but, but uh, Jimi Hendrix would be playing on guitars and his thumb could, I mean, you could, you've seen, he can go all the way around here and he used his thumb, it was very much a part of his guitar playing style. And, uh, but I want to say probably my, I guess right now I'd say my favorite acoustic guitar player is probably Bruce Coburn, and, and I'll put a couple of, of video links in, in the, uh, the notes to this video. Uh, but he, he's got a, he, I think it's his instructional video on if I had a rocket launcher, and he, he plays that song with this thumb over the top, and he, t he talks a little bit where he says that, you know, he, some people say that you can injure yourself doing that, and he says he's never hurt himself. But, you know, I just wanted to go ahead and, and make that clear, you know, cause, because if you go take classical lessons, they're probably going to really encourage you not to ever bring your thumb around like that. But if you watch rock and roll players, almost all of them do it. So just be aware that there there is a, you know, uh, not a, really a dispute necessarily, but there you know there's two there's two ways to look at it. I don't really have a feeling one way or the other. And one other song I was going to mention too is, uh, and I can't play this song. I wish I could, but if you it, another guy that plays with the thumb over the top, who's who's uh, playing these days is uh, uh, John Mayer. And if you go, if you go look at him playing the song Neon which is a really great song. He uses the thumb a whole lot. So, uh, uh, and he's, he was trained, I think, at uh, uh, Berkeley, I think. 